I've had an association with this landscape since early childhood when my mother and father would have brought me down onto the beach in Ross class in the summertime uh, to swim and to paddle about and make sand castles. I'm down here a lot with my phone because, uh, well, it's usually completely empty of people and the colours and the landscapes change every day. I've taken so many photographs down here, thousands and thousands of them, but every photograph you take is different. Despite the fact that I've travelled extensively around the world, the Galapagos, I've been to the United States, I've been to Arctic Canada, um, I've been to many countries in Africa, many beach sandscapes and landscapes, I keep coming back to this beautiful part of the County Down coast in Northern Ireland. I guess because it's home to me. This is a beach where I've walked with my dog, Buddy, many a time. Sadly he's not with me anymore, but even when I'm walking on it now I have wonderful memories of being with him. And of course the thing about a beach like this is every time you come down onto it it's a very different landscape. The tide is in or it's out. It's rough or it's smooth. The, the roughest uh, days that you walk on, but the waves are crashing and the wind is in your, oh, it's, it's in every part of your body basically pushing against you and you walk, but it's sunny and it's dry and it's crisp and you just think it's just a fantastical um, atmosphere. In a day like today, it's like seeing in monochrome but there are so many shades of grey and so many shades of black. The mountains themselves have a bit of um, uh, snow sprinkled over the top and of course the clouds come tumbling over the mountains of Morn and down into the sea. They, they do truly represent the Percy French song where the mountains of Morn sweep down to the sea. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. The sun just peeping out from behind that cloud and the mountains in the background. Stunning. Also great for wildlife, of course. Once I found a skull and a, and a backbone and skeleton and flippers of a, of a harbour port boy. It's probably one of the biggest things that I've, I've discovered on this beach. Although, in, in truth, it wasn't discovered by me. It was discovered by, by Buddy, who was uh, pawing at the ground and digging. And I would have just walked straight past it if I hadn't um, tried to pull him away. And he barked at me and, of course, was essentially telling me to come over and have a look. And um, that was a remarkable discovery. And of course, you do think to yourself, how did it end up here? How did it die? It's all part of the, the, the cycle of, of life, I guess. So, I mean, remarkably, a lot of the beaches around the world have plastic and plastic pollution and flip-flops and old bottles and all the rest of it. But whatever it is with the currents or the way the bay is sheltered, not a lot of plastic here, which is great news. We had quite a spectacular beaching of um, um, a minky wheel a couple of years ago and the thing that struck me about that was the uh, how quickly word spread on social media that there was a carcass lying on rocks, it was in fact just under the lighthouse and there were hundreds of people and I, I sat and observed that for about an hour having looked at the carcass myself and of course because it had been out on the rocks for Oh, at least a week and um, 10 days. People who were bringing their children could get so far and of course then the shrieks and the, and the screams would go up because the children wouldn't want to go any near because the smell was so foul. But the fascination of such a large creature um, uh, uh, coming up onto the rocks in our coastline surprised people. That, you know, my own daughter said to me, we actually have wheels in the water around here. And of course I had to, um, uh, I feel almost ashamed that I hadn't educated her properly about the kind of uh, wildlife that we have around us. The herons fascinate me because I've seen eight or nine herons dotted um, almost equidistant along the shore in, in front of my house. Uh, early morning just as the sun is coming up and they're not called 
patient killers of the marshes for nothing because of course they can remain absolutely motionless until that moment when they just strike. I have some beautiful shots, uh, photographs of, of herons and I've waited for hours and got a lovely shot of, of two flying in unison. Um, across the Kalok Bay at a, a low tide and they just look like they look like two pterodactyls flying towards me and of course clicked just because I had my, my uh, phone with me. Is it any wonder that I love this landscape? It's just stunning.